Uh, for recording purposes, I am recording, disassembling or looking at this laptop or doing an autopsy on it to see what got broken during transit. As you can see, these ports are extremely loose and there's loose bits of plastic in between these areas here. And the audio port is out of alignment at the same time. I am now going to do a disassembly of the system to see how much damage Australia Post did cause to the computer uh, in retrospect. Let's have a look. I'll switch my camera around to the other way. So, so from what I can tell, the USB ports in here are loose. Can see here it's quite loose and not just that the plastic area here is bent up obviously it's been smashed in on one side I'm just going to grab my screwdriver kit just going to grab my screwdriver kit and do a bit of a disassembly to see what damage was caused obviously now, as we can see, that's a bit damaged too. That's a little, a little bit of plastic, a little bit out of there. Let's unscrew this here and see what internal damage was done. Stopping the screw at the moment. Nope, that's going to be a stubborn screw. End it with a, a tip one, maybe. Have a look. Obviously, it's on this side, so I'm going to see. I have to get this cover off first. Dandy I fix it talk to. Alright, what do we want? Tweezers. Uh, something to that effect. Let's see. That is being a very stubborn screw. Please note that when I sent this laptop, it was in good working order. There we go. Got that stubborn screw out. Very good. Now, what we do, let's open this up and see what damage was caused. So, please note on this side, right here, there is a loose screw right here. Right on that side there. Can you see it? There's a loose screw right here, so that's obviously got banged in enough that I don't know where you can actually see it. Can you see that? Yes, there's a loose screw there. So that's obviously that area there. Let me 
see. See that's that screw should not be loose like that, personally. That's one side of it. Let's see here. So we can uh, So we now have a piece of circuit board, or what appears to be a piece of circuit board. We'll note that fact. You can really see it very clearly, but yeah. It's a bit of circuit board, or plastic. I believe it's either circuit board or plastic, combination of those two things. That is very loose, so let me have a look and see. That screw, where did that screw go? Right. Okay, that's fine. Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. It's two screws there, that's fine. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, perfect. Yeah, open this up. Angel, get out of my room. Angel, get out of here. Angel, get out of my room. So, so probably Battery out as well. Yeah, the least match for that somewhere. Hmm, interesting. It's a bit loud, Dad. Can you turn down a bit? Um, Angel, what are you doing? Get out. Yes, there is notable damage. Obviously, things have got knocked out of place, and not just that, but there's a there was a loose screw in this area as well. There shouldn't have been a loose screw here in the motherboard. So, as well. Yeah. 
And please note that this laptop was originally in good condition when I sent it to her. All parts were functioning. All parts were in good condition. And it was a fully functional laptop. At the time. When it's been sent for Australia Post, it ended up damaged. Shut up. Delicate. There we go. And out you come. Now, let's see. There should be a release. There should be some release on there somewhere. Um, do I see anything else? Let me see. Let's have a look. See if there's any other screw holes. Let's see if that CD ROM will come out. But it's a bit damaged, so. There's probably a screw hole in there, I'd say. That's probably on the inside of the unit. I can't see that the screw is there to come out. Let's have a look here. Spudging, oh spudging tool. Oh, 
perfect. So having a look at the internals. Yeah, okay, that's definitely working. Ooh, that's not good. Right. Alright, okay. So, I can tell what's broken at the moment. So, as you can see, little component there. Obviously, I believe that is part of the plastic, but the actual housing area that it's in is yeah, it's not good. Okay, so let me just let's screw this in a little part here. There's one more step in the Okay, now, yeah. a few more screws in here, I don't think so. There it is. There could be some screws here actually, on all of these feet. So. Double checking, but internal damage is here. So, as you can see, the actual port is loose, it's fully broken out of the plastic area. Obviously, the actual port looks fairly damaged. Let's see what happens inside. Hey, there's a ribbon cable there. Can you repair it then? Mm, not sure. Not sure. If it works, uh, I mean, I don't know. The thing is, she tried plugging USBs into it, it didn't work before. So it makes me wonder whether there's. It's just weird because it's like there's further damage or something. It's probably a section that connects to this keyboard. I don't know whether I can, um, I don't know, it depends. Depends on what's wrong with it. Okay. Spudging tool underneath that. There we go. 
Perfect. Okay. Right. There we go. Okay. Much better. Now we're cooking with gas. Okay, now, let's see, oh, where the fuck is my screw going, there it is, uh, for the moment, I'll disconnect the keyboard, like so, place that over there for a second, I'll screw this, because there's obviously a key, um, a screw underneath, there's obviously a screw underneath the keyboard that needed to be unscrewed before the the entire case would come off. Right. Uh, some screws. I can't see anymore, so I'm gonna say there's no more to unscrew, I don't think. Just double check. Not that I can see. LCD screen. Let's see. Screw. I just didn't see it because it was covered. Alright, All right. there we go. Alright, now that should pop off nicely. Yes, there we go. Very nice. Okay, now, how damaged are you, my friend? So, just so I know, you can see here the, crack, the plastic crack there. So, obviously, what happened is it back, banged on that side. This top layer broke here, and then this pushed it back there. Now, um, as far as I can tell, that doesn't look damaged, but let me see if the port's loose. Yeah, let's say, as I said, the funny thing is, she tried to plug USBs and everything else into it and it never worked. So I never picked up the USBs or anything like that. So obviously we're sitting there like that. Um, broke one end here, obviously that end. And, yes. It's very annoying. Anything else look damaged on it? Let's have a look. The port looks okay. No, the port the ports look a bit if you look at the ports they're a bit bent out of place. You can actually see that, but the bottom ports are a bit bent out of place. And any solder missing. Yeah, so it's kind of the case I don't know. I mean you could probably re you could probably reinsert that back in there. 
But the problem is that uh, the laptop doesn't work, unfortunately. So, well, the USB doesn't. That's what, because you tried using USBs on it and it never worked. So, uh, I didn't necessarily, oh no, I had to take the hard drive out, didn't I? Um, I can try booting up the machine and seeing if it works. That's the power button. Nothing looks, this side doesn't look damaged, but where that is, it's not recognizing any USBs at all. That's where the problems lie, basically, at the moment. Unless this plate cable got displaced, but I don't think so. So if I just temper I really put a screw in there. Right, so no, it's still pretty loose. That one, um, yeah. So basically, So the internal screw mechanism is fucked, um, there's a little edge here part that you, um, yeah, that's definitely, the motherboard, the board actually, yeah, okay, the board looks a bit chipped as well, and yeah, that, yeah, yeah. I don't like my chances of fixing this, as I said, because she did try to insert USB items into it, and they just would not work. Um, so yeah, that's sort of, that's a disassembly of the whole thing, to be honest. Um, there was definitely damage, it got smashed on one side, it was only one particular, one corner, so one corner here, which is here, as you can see where the plastic's broken, stuff like that. And that screw area got damaged. It pretty much fucked the actual lug, the thing, that the, the actual plastic part here, which where the screw fits into. It's screwed up the um, like the holder for the actual screw, so it's actually broken that. I got a couple of little plastic bits and stuff like that here. Is that plastic or metal? I think it might be metal actually. That is definitely not good. 
there. Uh, sad. I'm going to probably have to scrap this laptop at this point and use it for parts. Um, yeah, probably use a hard drive, the RAM, and uh, maybe I'll recycle some of the motherboard parts. We'll see. We'll see. It depends. But yeah, it's not. Basically, what's happened is that this is, this part has just pretty much been screwed up. It's, yeah, that whole entire area is fucked. And it's just not good. Let's see. Is there anything in this audio port? So, yeah, and, uh, and it looks like the ports have got bent as well, because they're not straight as they were. Ports have got bent out of position. Well, maybe a little bit of damage to the circuit board stuff as well, maybe, tiny bit of that, tiny bit of this, um, yeah, so, yeah, it's not, um, it's not great, not great at all, so, yeah, that's pretty much going to have to be, I'm going to have to recycle that for spare parts, I can't do anything with it, unfortunately, um, yeah, I mean, you can probably replace this bit, but the whole housing, like, you'd have to get a whole new housing, or, I mean, you could possibly put something like a resin or something. I don't have resin, unfortunately. Uh, you could put a resin or something like that, and you could probably glue it in if you wanted to. But then, the other side of it too is when I got her to plug in uh, USBs on this side. This side has a USB port. And I tried to get her to plug in things on this side, and it no, just wouldn't accept anything. It wouldn't see anything. Um, wouldn't see a damn thing. All right, Angel. See so, yeah. there. Um, unfortunately, it's kafuked, and it's obviously that one side that's got banged in. You can tell from the broken plastic on top, as well as the inner part here, which almost got smashed. And there's loose plastic on the inside of the case. Note this. There's a little piece of loose plastic in there. Obviously that broke off anything else. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, if you really wanted to be, you know, you could glue it back, but I don't think, I, I think it's sort of screwed up a lot of this stuff on the motherboard because this, this was recognizing USB sticks before. Um, I plugged in USB sticks to work on it before, to put stuff on it. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's not good. It's not good at all. That's fine. Um, I just thought I'd note and take a video of me disassembling it and stuff like that. It wasn't that hard to disassemble and determine the problem. And yeah, it looks like um, hmm, looks like another side got broken too. Like these um, these parts in here. There's also other parts here, well, there's another piece of plastic there. One of those little rivet things that go into the plastic. That one over there, and then that's broken on that side. So, yeah, not good. Oh, and, of course, there's a capacitor broken. This is what I was looking for. There is a capacitor that's broken off. And it looks like it probably broke off the motherboard somewhere on the motherboard here or something here so it probably broke off somewhere here somewhere around here ah right might have been here so see here it might have been here that it broke off so there's a capacitor here that went here and that's the reason that the USB is fucked so that capacitor broke off the little capacitor where you only can actually see that but um, see the little capacitor and it's broken off so, yeah, it's kind of fucked. <laughs> it's pretty fucked. Oh, no, it, it is fucked, let's be honest. Um, it's fucked up that they smashed it that bad that they, they should dislodge a capacitor. And that's the reason she had issues with it. Um, I mean, you could, I, mean, I guess you could technically replace that part because it is, it is separate from the motherboard. But uh, I just I don't know the likelihood of being able to get it functioning again. The problem is I, I tried the USBs on this side as well. Mind you, these... Uh, 
Um, I haven't. I mean, I could try. I don't know. I'll try a couple of things and I might. But I, I like even if I were to place this, I'm not sure <coughs> <coughs> how much the replacement would be. But I'd say there, are, you know, if something like this, it's not going to be a massive amount of money. But still, it get it plucks the kiffer on the LED light top. Um, there's one USB port on this side, which is USB three. She tried that side and uh, didn't work there either. And let me just see if there's any other areas that look questionable. Anything that looks questionable. Um, yeah, it's not good. Not good at all. Not great at all. That's fine. Yeah, so that's the reason that that doesn't work anymore. Um, basically, the capacitor that was on there broke off. Capacitor down here, this area here, broke off. And pretty much fucked it. Um, yeah, but even, it's sort of funny though, so. I mean, I don't know why it would have affected this side, but it might—it might be because it's all tied in with the same thing, and you need, you, in order to run things, you need that. You actually need that functional and everything else, so you need that. That needs to be functional in order for it to run. So that's probably the reason the other side, the other USB on the other side, didn't work. So yeah, I'd say so. Um, and I don't think the HDMI worked either. So she tried plugging a few things in, and uh, yeah. That is not good, not good at all. Um, regardless of the situation, I have now done the disassembly. I'll sign this off and I'll say that this is a write off. And um, I have photos of the damage when it arrived at her house. And I have uh, this video, which I just did then, which is she sent it back to me and I disassembled it to just to check that how things were going with it. And yeah, um, yeah, uh, pretty much at this point. I can't really do much with this. I mean, the only thing I can do with this is really just grab the spare parts, probably the keyboard, this uh, RAM, and the uh, so probably the RAM and uh, yeah, probably the hard drive. Realistically, so probably the hard drive is going to be the thing that I'm going for. We'll see what happens, but yeah, let's just it's just fucking ridiculous. It's you know, um. Basically, just as I said, it's got smashed in on one side. Also, there's there's a bro there's a broken part here too. Of the main the main connect like the main part connects to the mother but like not the motherboard, but up here this part that connects to the case and everything else, and that's broken as well. So it's obviously just so sort of this side basically got the shit smashed out of it. On top of that, that's crooked as well. This fucking thing. Oh, that comes out, but. That was crooked before. You got you know, you can obviously tell this side got smashed in pretty bad. So yeah. Um yeah, it's fucking stupid. Um not great, not great at all. I think I'll leave it there for now. Um we'll leave that there and that's good. Um I have reported this to Australia Post. I will be posting this as, as a YouTube video, by the way, if anybody's wondering. So that's something I'm gonna be doing. Um and yeah. I'll be posting this off as a YouTube video. I'm doing it on my phone and everything else, but I'll make, I'll get the recording and I'll put it onto YouTube. And I will probably send, but it'll probably tag Australia Post on Twitter uh, in this video as well. So yeah, depending on if the case, because I'm waiting for the investigation to go through. When the investigation goes through, I'm going to see what happens. And uh, if they give it, if they give me back my insurance, uh, which I think it was only there was only a hundred dollars on it because it was only just the basics of insurance, but yeah, uh, hopefully they, I'm pretty sure they should. I, I don't see them not giving me back the insurance. But anyway, uh, I'll just leave it there now. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, that was the disassembly of the Levino laptop that I sent my friend, which obviously got fucking fucked in the ass in the post. So yeah, I'll leave it there. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, that's cool. No problem.